Previously on the Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duelist of the Roses, Flint on 14 was able to defeat Ishizu and Richard III of York. And now, the music is obviously quiet. But even if it's quiet, Goku continues his meditation and training. Will Flint and Mon 14 be able to get all the Rose cards and... Will Gohan be able to learn the Kamehameha? Find out today on Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses. All right, epic intro done. <laughs> I'm afraid it won't be that easy, Saya. Who said that? What? Who? What? What's going on here? <laughs> In uh, epic music cue number two. Yeah, this music's pretty epic here. Uh, you know. Lord Crawford, it's about time! And what exactly are you talking about, may I ask? I fear that aside from Seto, all the Rose Crusaders have fallen at the hands of the Rose Duelist. They were beaten by the very first person you just had the pleasure of dueling, Zaya. I present you, the Rose Duelist. And man, this music is so epic. And may I add that, um, I'm leaving you. I've decided to join the Yugi and the Orchestrians in their beautiful power. What? <laughs> My match with the Rose Duelist taught me the true meaning of power. So basically what Pegasus is saying is that we basically opened his eyes by, you know, defeating him earlier. I know he didn't give us a Rose card or anything, but he was just like, you know what? I see the light, and now I'm going to join Yugi in their side. Betrayal. The Duelist may be even more powerful than Seto and the Rose Crusaders. That would mean that Yugi is likely to succeed in landing his troops. With the greatest jewel master backing the Lancastrians financially, the Yorkists are bound to be defeated. I'd be a fool not to back the winning horse. <laughs> And watch of your hostage son, Lord Crawford. <gasps> Guys, that's why Mokuba's not in this game. He's been kidnapped the entire time. All right, well, makes sense. Makes sense. I've been wondering where he was at. Jeez, okay. <laughs> you wouldn't dare touch a hair on his head if you and your troops are defeated, Richie boy. Oh my, I believe Yugi and his army have arrived. It's showtime, Saya. Sayonara. Oh my god, and it's an actual war with horses and swords and stuff, and... Oh! Hey, that's the uh, guy, uh, the Fierce Knight horse. Sweet. August 22nd, 1485. The final battle of the Wars of the Roses commences on Bosworth Field. After Gohan finished his training and it emerged from the hyperbolic time chamber. Oh man, this music is triumphant and glorious. A horse, a horse. My kingdom for a horse. Richard III falls in battle. Oh, it looks like Pegasus is picking up that uh, crown there. Oh, and who all is that in the background? I think I see Pegasus, Yugi, uh, do I see Joey back there? I think so. But wow, look at this. Man, what an epic scene. Lo here, this long use of royalty from the temples of this wretch have I plucked off to grace thy brows with all. Well, enjoy it and make much of it. Bravo. Whoever said that, bravo. Bravo. The victory brought about by Yugi, aka Henry Tudor's troops, signaled the end of over 300 years of rule under the Plantagenets. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I kind of need a drink after all these different voices. Hang on. There we go. My thanks to you, Avatar. Without your help, this victory would not be ours. Ending the 
respect of Lord Crawford in enlisting his aid and should the fall of Richard III. I cannot thank you enough. Me and my dark magician will take it from here. I owe you my thanks as well, for I would have hated to be on the losing side. Mm. Now, all that's left of the enemy is that despicable Seto Kaiba, Lord Crawford. Do you know where he might be? And this is kind of a weird juxtaposition. Basically, this game came out around like 2004 or 5, and to see Yugi and Kai uh, Pegasus getting along here, kind of weird, I'm not going to lie, but eh, anyway, first time for everything, first time for everything. Hmm, knowing Seto, me best guess would be Stonehenge. Is that a typo? Me best guess? That's a sh what, whatever, this guy, this game came out in 2005, who cares? <laughs> I see. Ugh. I hate to admit it, Floodmon 14, but I doubt we have a, enough power to take out a duelist of his level. Uh, why don't we just fight him? Dude, you have your army, you know, like a thousand or more troops. Why don't we just, you know, sword to sword combat? We don't need to duel. Just, you know, off with his head, you be off with his head. You're the king. Be a man and order it. <laughs> Must ask a favor of you once again. Ah, of course, of course. Do I have to do everything? Face the evil one and end his threat once and for all. Alright, Master, let's go. Is that Pumpkin talking to us? I don't know. I only thought Pokemon could talk. Anyway, so once you unlock all that, you will see Sito Kaiba is here at Stonehenge, but... Before we go into battle him, I am going to save, 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 definitely. Alright guys, you ready? Now I'm not gonna lie, we could easily lose this duel, but uh, I'm gonna try my best guys. Ready? <laughs> You're here much sooner than I expected, Rose Duelist. I knew that Crawford would turn on us one day. Wait, what? You did? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> but I didn't expect the time. Battle to turn so soon. Uh, actually, Crawford's betrayal and the fall of the Arcus mattered not to me. Uh, what do you mean, Seto? I mean, if we get all the rose cards, that means we win. What? And you're all about winning, right? <laughs> you see, Flynn, all I had hoped for from this tiresome struggle was to find an opponent worthy of my attention, and not some third rate duelist with a fourth rate dick like that Jimmy. I, I knew you had been summoned. I chose to wait. The, the suspense is killing me. But I kept wondering, jeez, what, my 14? Why would they want to do that? But each time I'm under uh, my Rose Crusaders fell before you, I shivered in anticipation. Once I, once you beat the last member, I knew you were ready to face me. Uh, do I believe that? I mean, <laughs> anyway, long have I starved the best, a duelist equal in power to me. I'm to best such an opponent in battle. Uh, okay, so all he wanted was a good fight. That's basically what Settle's saying here. You wish to have my rose card? <laughs> then take it from me. Fix me in battle, duelist. But you better bring your best cards, because I... I'm set to freaking Kaiba, and I won't lose easily. Let's do Alright, guys. <laughs> it's ought to be good. And get ready to listen to some epic, epic music. Ready? I'm just going to be quiet for a second while y'all listen to the music. Now, is this some epic music or what? Man. Oh, we did get Shadow Ghoul here, which honestly might be pretty good. I think what I'll do... Hmm. I think first turn, I'm going to set Shadow Ghoul over here. And I'm going to try to have it blocked this way, so... Yeah, put Shadow Ghoul here. Go! Monster Transform! Yeah, 
Yeah, and it is a warrior, so on on the meadow, it will go up to 3,500 defense. I think that'll be good. If I can get it to defend here, on the square right here, I think that will be enough to kind of hold the line, but yeah, I might have to keep it in defense mode right here, though, but we'll see. And something you should know is uh, Kaiba, uh, his deck leader, let me just go to it, yeah, increased movement and level cost reduction from summoning the same type. Both of those, not good. Long story short, he can move his deck leader two squares, but usually he'll stop right about here and just kind of try to summon all around. Just to let you guys know, I mean, it's good to know what the AI will do. That way you can kind of, kind of prepare, you know, so, yeah. Power increase, that's not good. And yes, he will uh, increase the power of his uh, blue eyes white dragons, just to give you guys a heads up, so. Yeah, but the good part is we're decreasing his power at the same time. So I think it should be safe to move here for now. Uh, yeah, he did use Dragon Treasure, so we really gotta watch out for this card, whatever it is. Uh, ooh, Infinite Dismissal might be a good call here. That way I can get this to flip up, no matter what it is, and also, I'll be blocking this zone. Now, I think the final thing I think I'll do is actually move over here and put Jirai Gumo over here to take on the very first monster he put. Because the very first one, I don't think it'll be that powerful, you know. But that's the plan for now. That's the plan for now. So. Oh, and by the way, do watch out in this game because this guy can and will play Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Now, you may be saying, like, Ultimate Dragon, normally, you know, when you do the fusions, it fuses two monsters at a time, the Dark Hold Skin. But it, it'll fuse, like, for example, if I fuse these two, it would make Pumpkin. But normally, it only fuses two cards at a time. You might be saying, how is a Blue Eyes Ultimate possible? Well, he, he actually has a ritual card for uh, Ultimate, uh, called, like, Ultimate Dragon Revival or something. And that's how you play Ultimate in this game. You have to have three blue eyes on your field, and then, uh, yeah, it activates just like any other ritual card in this game. And uh, then it sacrifices all three blue eyes on the field, and wherever you activated the ritual card, it will summon blue eyes Ultimate Dragon. Oh, you fool. I was hoping you'd take yes. Wow, and this card only has 1900 attack? I honestly might attack him back just to get that extra damage and to get it off the field. But yes, I was hoping you'd do a lot of damage to yourself. Mega Punch! Don't you know I'm rock type, son? That's not very effective, son. Alright. 1,600 damage. That is good. That's really good. Alright, and what did he have here? Oh, Miki Zuki no Yaiba? Interesting. I think I will. Hmm. Da -da -da -da. I think I'm gonna play Agent Tree of Enlightenment here. There we go. That way he can't use any of his traps. And maybe I should stay in defense. Screw it. Attack! Wall Shadow! Alright. Yeah. That extra 300 damage is just too tempting. I mean, plus he wasted six stars on this card, so... But he does have pretty powerful stuff, so he's probably gonna defeat Wall Shadow, but... I'm okay. We did really about the maximum amount of damage that I could hope for from Wall Shadow. Because, like, I figured he would attack him with, like, a Blue Eyes or something, but... You know. Honestly, this card's pretty weak compared to the rest of his stuff, so... We got lucky. Yeah. Alright. So we defeat that. Let's just end the turn. Da -da -da -da. Run away, kind of a boy. Alright. Interesting. Well, you didn't defeat Wall Shadow, and that is a monster. But I can actually go around your monster, see? Go, Wall Shadow! <laughs> Travel through the labyrinth and go toward Kaiba. Alright, uh, what? Uh, I guess I will play Sword Stalker next turn. I hate to play it early, but with two power ups, 
Honestly, Sword Stalker might be enough by himself. And he can use our energy, right? Yeah, he can. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm gonna drag him up. But he keeps running away with this card, so might not be able to catch him. And be careful using Dragumo because it does uh, it does cost you points. So yeah, I just kind of want to know what he's got there, though. Hmm. Two monsters beside him. Well, huh? He has 2,100 life points. So honestly, with an attack on. Uh, yeah, with an attack on the meadow, I could defeat him, possibly. I think I'll keep applying the pressure. Oh, nicely done, nicely done. So, let me show you guys what this card does. When this card's flipped face up, all enemy cards are spelled out for one turn. Yeah, that's a pretty good card. That's a pretty good card. Unfortunately for you, I haven't summoned this turn, so... Sword Sucker, get out here. I will power it up. All right. Now, do I have anything in the graveyard? Hang on. Uh, just one shadow bolt, man. Uh, I gotta go for it. We got the pressure on them already, so you know what? I'm gonna go for it, and that way we can get this thing out of the way, because this this card's freed next turn, and you know we don't want that. We don't want it causing any trouble. So. Uh, it's time, Kaiba. Ready? It's my strongest attack. The Red Jet Slayer! And that's an Inuyasha reference. In case you guys are just like, what was that? That's weird. This guy's weird. <sighs> yeah, victorious sword stalker. Sword stalker. Alright. Well, and if all goes to worse, we do still have Dark Hole, so that's good. Alright, I end my turn. And everything should be freed next turn, yeah. Well, the problem is, is, oh yeah, yeah, now he can summon and probably try to get rid of uh, Wall Shadow now, yeah. Oh no, I'm surprised he didn't. Hmm. Oh, okay. But the problem is, is now, like, with all the time he's stalling us, uh, let's move over here and activate Goblin Secret Reveal! Heal my life points. Yeah, the problem is, with all the time, you know, he is building up the summoning level, so I think I will switch Wall Shadow back to defense, actually. Just because, yeah, by building up the summoning level, he can drop blue eyes now, I'm pretty sure, so. Alright. Yeah. Well done on that invitation to Dark Sleep. I'll switch Wall Shadow to defense mode. Move Sword Stalker to his home to ring in the meadow. Alright. Ooh! <laughs> Alright. Oh! Maximum number of. Wait, what? How do I. Oh, I guess I do. Yeah, Wall Shadow. One, two, three. Oh, I have Candle of Fate in the back. Okay. Well, in that case. I'll move back here, and I will set my ritual card right here. Now, I know I have only one copy. I don't think I'll actually need it in this pool, though. So, because we're in a pretty good spot here, so I'll just set it there as bait. Maybe he'll attack it. I don't know. Oh, okay. Whatever, copy. Whatever. And he's just defending, man. Defending. It's so odd to see Kaiba defending of all things, but, uh, yeah. Miracles do happen every day, I guess. Uh, let's set our coal. Alright, and I will move here. And we got the stuff for Pumpkin, too, so that's good. Sword Stalker, free my brother! Oh, wait, what? Ah, a Montagna card. I'm very glad he did not activate this. Yeah. Transform a surrounding two square space into meadow. I'm surprised he didn't activate it, because I have, a uh, obviously, Sword Stalker's boost on metal here. His card is downgraded here, so, I mean, why not? If I'm going to run it over, I was in position to run it over. And if it's going to get ran over anyway, why not just activate it, right? 
You guys, you guys agree with that or no? I mean, I don't know. All right. Uh, one thing I'm actually going to do here, now that he ran over our ritual card, uh, I am going to... Well, let me play this back here in a safe spot in case I need it. I am going to move Ancient Tree right here. Because uh, I... Well, I probably should have attacked first. No, no, no. There's no traps here. But, uh, yeah. Because that way, uh, the monster he's got chasing my leader, hopefully he won't uh, attack my ancient tree. Because I am kind of worried about this guy's trap card. So, uh, yeah. We're at about 20 minutes. All right. I think after this battle, I will abbreviate battles just to... Uh, try to speed this up. Well, maybe I shouldn't. What if this guy summons the blue eyes? You guys surely want to see that in glorious HD, right? See blue eyes attacking in this game? Yeah. yeah Alright, Sword Stalker. Well done. Alright. Alright, well, what are you going to do now, Kaiba? You're completely trapped. Completely trapped. Oh, and he just left this card there. He didn't move? Oh, Kaiba. Kaiba. You went... I thought he would at least move here, but you know what? Go, Sword Stalker! Win us the victory. Wow. Sword Stalker for the win. Yeah, I'm kind of glad I played him early. That that worked out really well. And so did Wall Shadow. Wall Shadow performed B-E-A beautifully. We win. All right. Do, do, do. Ooh, Montagna's in the graveyard. That's right. Tony Montagna. Let's try to win Mountain. It is a good field card, but uh, it might be hard to win. I don't know. Ooh, missed it by one. Yeah. Focus here. That's a one. Ooh. Got it. Sweet. I guess I'll try to win Dragon Treasure because I can't get three in a row now, obviously. Or maybe I should go for that Invitation to Dark Sleep. Yeah, that is a pretty good card. Ah, but it's between the fake traps. Yeah, I'll go for Dragon Treasure. That's easier for me to see. Got it. Got it. Wow. Yeah, we got uh, a couple good cards here. Mountain and Dragon Treasure. And Dragon Treasure can even be used on Aqua Dragon. Fun fact. It works on Sea Serpents and Dragons in this game. Well done, Duelist. <laughs> I may have lost, but my heart sings with the joy of having faced you in battle. So, thank you. Same here, bro. It was fun. And we get the final rose card. What will happen now? Well... Are we going to end it on a cliffhanger again? What will happen now? Twas a great duel to be remembered. I take great pride in the fact that I fall by your hand. Da, da, da. Well, guys, no music again. A little ominous. You'll have to tune in next time to find out what happens. See you guys then.